Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Terry Weiss. We're going to review this guitar I picked up. Got it for a song. No pun intended. And I made some modifications. I'm going to show it to you this time on Weiss Thoughts. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Welcome to Weiss Thoughts. I'm Terry Weiss. I'm so glad you dropped by for this episode of the video cast today. Is that what they call it? Video cast? I don't know. Anyway, as promised, we're going to get into that new guitar I picked up just a few short weeks ago. But first, some real quick house cleaning. Hey, if you like me, if you like the content, subscribe to the channel, would you? Any comments about this episode or any episodes on my channel, Weiss Thoughts, just leave them down below, okay? Cool. And oh, another thing. I've got a podcast I do weekly. Weisthoughts.com is my website. Check it all out over there. All right. So I'm going to bring in something here that I picked up a few short weeks ago. I'm always on the lookout for great deals. And especially now with guitar prices going through the roof. And you can check out a couple episodes back here on the channel I did about guitar prices and musical instruments in general just increasing like crazy in price because of inflation that we're all going through here in 2022. But anyway, we do what we got to do. And even before inflation and all that, I always kept my eyes out for a good deal on musical gear and equipment, especially guitars, because that's what I love. So I managed to score this nice beauty right here. This is a Taylor DN7. Now, what this is, first of all, it's a gorgeous guitar. Check that out gorgeous guitar. It's just a solid body acoustic guitar. It has no electronics. This was a special run made by Taylor for Guitar Center and Musician's Friend way back in, I believe it was 2013, if I recall correctly. It was a special run by the Taylor Factory. It's an all-American made guitar out of their California factory, and it's all solid wood. The back and sides are rosewood, East Indian rosewood, which is becoming rarer and rarer to find as we go along here. And most of the stuff is laminate or koa or uh, Indian laurel, things like that. But this is actually East Indian rosewood. And it's just, like I said, just gorgeous. And nothing really quite sounds quite like it once it ages on an acoustic guitar, especially. The top here is, is all solid top. It's an Engelman spruce top. Now, what that means is usually you get Sitka spruce tops on acoustic guitars. E uh, Engelman spruce, from what I had, had read, is more, I guess, mid-rangey. But the, the, the guitar itself, I, again, I got it used. And uh, I, I paid just a little over $1,000 for it used. When these came out, they were about 22 or so, 1900 to 2200 depending on where you where you got them online. Uh, the retail on them was $2,900 or $2,900 US dollars. They circulated back in 2013. Now here's the story behind this guitar and why I've got it, just real quick for you. When this guitar first came out, I did buy it from a guitar center here in the US. Bought it brand new off the shelf. I paid like $1,900 at the time plus tax. I had it for about a year and then a friend of mine really liked it and said, oh man, I love that guitar. I wasn't playing it much at the time. I was playing my Martins that I had. I had a GPAC I had something four. I don't know, it was an artist series Martin that I had at the time that I was really in love with at the time. And I was playing that a lot and this kind of just sat in the case. And the mindset I had at the time was, eh, it's sitting there doing nothing. Why not rehome it to someone and make a few extra bucks on the side? The person ended up paying me what I paid for the guitar, so I figured, hey, a win-win scenario. Fast forward about four or five years after that, and I just, I was really missing that guitar. I was just missing a nice high-end Taylor guitar, solid body, acoustic. So when this came into the guitar center again, I was at a guitar center about a month or so ago, and a gentleman brought this in. He was trading it in. And this is along with another uh, Taylor that he had. And I this caught the corner of my eye and I said, boy, that really looks like a DN4. Sure enough, it was. I let them do their deal, you know. 
And I went over to the clerk at the guitar center and I said, can I see that? And sure enough, it is a Taylor DN7 guitar, most closely related to the 700 series at the time of Taylor guitars. Um, it has a nice ebony fingerboard. It's got the inlays on the, on the fingerboard, as you can see here. I'm gonna go in for a little close up, okay? In fact, I'm gonna get up here and give you a nice close up of this bad boy. Beautiful fingerboard on this thing. And again, just, just to give you the back side of it. I mean, this, this guitar is just gorgeous. So anyway, this is not, as we talked about, this is not an uh, acoustic electric, just a standard acoustic. However, the technology has progressed now here in the year 2022 that LR Bags makes something called a Lyric Pickup. I looked at a few different ones and settled on the Lyric because it's very... On a, I'm just, you can hardly see it in the sound hole. That's the word I'm looking to find. It's not a, a, an obstruction to put into the, to the guitar. And it's actually a microphone system that goes under the saddle. And then here, and then you, it takes a 9-volt battery, and it comes with its own end pin. And you just plug in, and you've got a volume control basically right here. The nice thing about the LR Bags Lyric Series is that it takes the acoustic guitar sound, what you hear here. All right. It just amplifies that without coloration. It just basically like you're sitting in front of this thing and listening to it, okay? Now, I don't have it plugged in. The sounds you're hearing from the guitar in this video are just coming directly. I've got a lapel mic here, right down there. You probably can see it in the video if you look close enough. And that's all you're hearing is that lapel mic sound and again the guitar projects forward but this guitar was well taken care of it came with the hard shell case which is was a great shape i mean there was a couple little scratches on it but there's no gouges or anything and the inside is perfect and the guitar has been well taken care of uh there's no major gashes on it or anything like that a little remnants of where the actual sticker was here that said elixir strings but did a setup on it had the uh, Lyric pickup installed because I probably could have done it myself. But I'm like, you know what? I'm spending over a grand on this guitar. I don't want to mess this up. So I, I had it professionally done by my guitar tech and let him do it. But this thing is just gorgeous. You can hear, I mean, it's, it's aged well. It's got sustain for days. I mean, you can hear that. And it just sounds great. Give you a little idea here. Nice thing, too, you can also finger pick with this bad boy. It's got a great sound for that. So if you want to strum with your fingers too. sustains for days. It's got nice overtones. It's got a nice mid-rangey defined sound, I guess, would be the easiest way to describe it. But it just sounds, it sounds great. It's a great sounding guitar. Great sounding guitar. Looking forward to playing this out when we do our uh, our acoustic sets and that. I'm looking forward to recording with this too, real soon. Haven't recorded it yet, but I'm sure it'll record fine. I can put a mic in front of it, or again, use the uh, LR Bags Lyric system to record, because it's basically an under saddle or under bridge uh, microphone here, 
And I know you're probably thinking, well, if it's an underbridge microphone system, how about the feedback that you can get from acoustic guitars when you mic them or use the, their electronic uh, systems, electronics in some guitars. The nice thing about the LR Bags Lyric system is that it has that feature built in where it's an anti-feedback system built into the mic. It's very high end. It runs a couple hundred bucks. Uh, I got mine from Sweetwater. If you want to get it from Sweetwater, I don't get any kind of affiliate money or anything. Just ask for, ask for Dave Cody. He'll, he'll hook you up. He's my sound en engineer at Sweetwater. Great guy. But he hooked me up with that. And uh, like I said, this thing is just, it just sounds great. I mean, it really does. It just sounds wonderful, I mean. So I guess, what's the moral of this video you're asking yourself, Terry? Well, the moral of the video is, is you don't necessarily have to buy new off the rack, as they say. If you know what you're looking for, you've got recommendations from friends, family, or if you played some guitars and things like that, and you know what you're looking for, the sound in your head, shop the used market. Just be careful, okay? Um, I would recommend shopping at maybe a local guitar store in your, in your country, in your neighborhood. Or if you buy online, I'd recommend Reverb.com. I've seemed to have had great luck on Reverb. eBay, eh, not, not too many positive experiences. Sorry, eBay, you just got to be truthful. There's a lot of scam artists still there. But Reverb.com uh, Reverb has been a good source if I've wanted to pick up some other items as well. But guitars are, I, I always tell people, buying a guitar is almost like buying a car. Where I don't know many people, honestly, at least I haven't come across them, that go on the internet and say, yeah, I'll just take that car without doing a test drive. Same thing with a guitar. You want to get it in your hand. You want to feel. How does it feel? Does it feel comfortable? Does it sound good to you? Things like that. That's what you want to do. That's what you want to... Does it sound good to you? Does it feel good to you? Um, is it something that you can bond with? Because a lot of you guitarists out there that know, when you find that guitar and bond with it, boom, it's a done deal, man. It's sealed. And away you go. So just giving you a quick review and my impressions of the Taylor DN7 that I picked up on the used market and a couple of the modifications that I made to it. Oh, one last thing. People have asked, too, uh, from the first video. It came with uh, medium elixir strings when it was new. However, I got... Uh, hybrid strings on there. They're medium lights. And I'll tell you what, on this guitar, they just they sound phenomenal. They really do. They're not too light that they're mushy, if that makes any sense, but they're not so rigid that they're going to rip up your fingers or anything like that. So that's all I got for now. Uh, like, a, like, subscribe to the channel. Check out the website, weisthoughts.com. Check out the podcast on your favorite podcast provider at Weiss Thoughts. Look for it on any place you listen to podcasts. Keep sending me email at weisthoughts at gmail.com. Until next time, my friends, Terry Weiss. Take it easy. We'll see you later.